Oh, That's no. a funny reference you just made, considering that I was just about to say that the actual darkest fairy is Gerard Way. <laughs> he is dark. He is the fairy. You know, I never listened to, like, My Chemical Romance, so I wouldn't know about these, like, fruit That's people. why you're not on my fucking level. <laughs> Maybe if you did, you would be. I'm sorry. I had so the My Chemical Romance phase that I went through was mentally, physically, and emotionally debilitating, and I regret nothing. That was, seems so recent, though. It was only, like, three years ago, maybe? That's pretty recent. Yeah. Bubble mode. It was hardcore. I heard the song, I'm Not Okay, and then I listened to it on repeat 100 times. And then I listened to only My Chemical Romance for about a year, probably. You heard I'm Not Okay, and then you went, I'm Not Okay, I can relate to this song. But then you remembered, oh, this I am This band okay. from New Jersey really gets me. They're from Wait New Jersey? Wait a minute, I am okay, and then I started listening to Tom Petty. All the best bands are from New Jersey. MCR is from New Jersey, Misfits is from New Jersey. Man, New Jersey must suck. Yeah, shit must be horrible if they're singing about that shit. I like how the music here is clearly dynamic, but it's not doing it well. So it just sounds like incomprehensible nonsense. Yeah, it just gets quieter and louder whenever the fuck it wants to. I think it might be like proximity based to the enemies, but there's enemies everywhere. They're just fucking everywhere, so yeah, yeah what do you do? They're non-stop. It's, it's not a smooth transition, it's just like you're in the zone, you're not in the zone. Yeah. I think the funniest thing is when there's just music that's super, super air uncharacteristic out of nowhere. I think it'd be way funnier if like the battle music was super loud and bombastic and crazy, but all, all the other music was just like chill. I wish that were the case. I don't know, this music is kind of based. You are the elevator music queen. You will listen to anything that sounds like background ambient music. Set up, set up. Chill. Set up. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason she loves the 80s city pop from Japan. Facts, because that's the soundtrack to a beach. City pop is awesome. Yeah. That's just city the pop music you listen to driving down the beach at sunset. It's like... Yeah. The music of Outrun aesthetic. What the fuck is There's this? There's nothing that captures it better. Yeah. A pungent flower. Garlic, the most pungent flower of them all. Oh, delicious. You should eat it. I don't think I will. But On a dare, I would eat a whole head of garlic with the skin on. No hesitation. I would like, do it would without hesitation really if the skin was off. But you wouldn't have to dare me. You got that Italian in you. Oh yeah. Oh. Nice catch. I don't see why you would like even eat like the poison healing items in this game when poison heals so quickly. Like it literally lasts like half a second. It's like in Dark Souls where the resistance stat gives you poison resistance, but you don't need it because if you're good at the game, you just fucking won't get poisoned. Yeah. Can I please get up? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Get absolutely spam. You know what this is reminding me of is fucking what Maximo. This is fucking Maximo for babies. Dude, I fucking love Maximo. That's like the best game ever made. I hate that shit. I love Maximo. What's Maximo? What's Maximo? You. It's like the three dimensional uh sequel to Ghosts and Goblins. Yeah. It's also by Capcom, and it has all the same characters and enemies and shit, but it's oh, really fucking bad. Oh, this extended goblins, ghosts, ghouls, and monsters extended the universe. The multiverse. I fucking love Ghosts and Goblins. It's my favorite, like, game series ever. It fucking sucks, but I love it. Knife. No, fuck you. You gotta get the discus. We A cabbage. Wait. There we- <gasps> A starry neg. Oh, that one again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why does every fruit have to sound like a slur? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Like, Zoe, I, I know I asked you about, like, classic college humor bits, but Aiden, have you ever watched, like, Almost a Slur? 
the Call of Humor classic video almost a slur, where they just say slurs for I 20 minutes? I feel like I've probably seen it. I, as a kid, I watched a lot of, like, um, Jake and Amir or whatever that shit was called. Dude, I fucking love and, Jake and Amir. Yeah, it's pretty funny, and I watched a lot of Call of Humor videos, so I am totally sure that I saw that one. <laughs> yeah. It was, it's so interesting as a kid, like watching that type of comedy and you're just like, wow, wow this is what grown-ups think are is funny. I'm so sophisticated. And then you grow up and you're like, that shit was for, that was not for grown-ups. That was goofy. I mean, it's called college humor <laughs> for a reason. Yeah. No, I know you were a cracked kid, not a college humor kid. I don't know. I wasn't that hard on the cracked trend. Well, yeah, I would say I watched definitely more college humor. Although, what did okay? What channel was that one show on where it's like four friends who are like a sitcom trope sit talk in a diner? Was that cracked or college humor? I think that might have been Channel One Hundred One. Maybe I don't remember what the fuck it was called. Meanwhile, I'm over here. I was watching Machinima and all that stuff. Oh, I, I mean, I loved me some... What was that one guy who, on Machinima who had the Halo music videos that was like, I want to be a killionaire so freaking bad. I don't know. That was my shit. No. And I did watch almost all of Red vs. Blue. I've never seen Red vs. Blue, but I was all about those city, like, Machinima animation. It's like Taco Man plays a video game. Mm. Or World of Warcraft. What? You know, the classic World of Warcraft. Warcraft? Yeah. Where all the World of Warcraft characters go home, get on their computer after their jobs, and oh. play the <laughs> video game about being in an office. You guys uh, want to play some World of Warcraft? Workcraft? Goofy. I think it's a masterpiece of storytelling, and you can't convince me otherwise. So Aiden, what have you been up to since we last talked? Well, I've been, you know... Working on the railroad. Working on All the railroad. All the live long day. Hammering those spikes. Hammering them things in. Getting ran over by trains. Oh yeah, I heard about that. How are your legs doing? They're still completely flat, like <laughs> when a cartoon character gets smushed by an anvil. Yeah, I saw the picture of like the injury where it looked like that scene straight out of like a... Uh... The Netflix adaptation of a series of unfortunate events where, like, the super happy, like, sawmill guy had his legs squished. It looked exactly like yeah. that. It's yeah. a deep reference that perfectly describes my pain. Yeah. You know, sometimes you need some sacrifices trying to get the Baudelaire children's fortune. It's true, it's worth it. I was also, today, I was watching the movie The Thief and the Cobbler, which is an underrated classic. Yeah, did you watch the. Like, the intentional one or the recobbled cut? <laughs> That's a funny way to say it. I was watching the Miramax version that has the narration, which is the best version. The only version that I ever want to watch. It's such a, it's such a banger. Classic film. As yeah. an uninitiated, what is it? Essentially, it is a movie that was put into development like a year after Aladdin came out and it is a complete ripoff of Aladdin but it's made by these like super genius animators who did it all like traditional super amazing animation but the movie was like never finished but then some other company bought the rights to it and re-released it and then another company did it for like TV so it's just like a development hell unfinished movie but it's really full of personality because the animation is amazing and the Miramax version that came out last for TV has this hilarious weird like improvised commentary by one of the characters like the whole time that's just completely goofy and makes no sense so it's a hilarious watch unintentionally <laughs> and the animation is so beautiful that it's actually really fun they try to mash together Aladdin and Emperor's New Groove in all the words Ways, oh my god, that's it a sounds like. great way to describe it, yeah. It was, that's pretty much it. And it is super funny and good. And the animation is really trippy and crazy. I'd probably love it. It's Maybe. good. Yeah, like, we've been watching a lot of though. classic goofy movies ourselves as well. God, fuck. Such as a goofy movie and a goofy movie? Uh, we haven't watched a goofier movie. 
No, uh, we watched UHF. We watched Wayne's World. Oh, I watched UHF recently too. I love that movie. This is a really cool yeah. part of the game. Look at this. <laughs> I can't walk across this, and they keep <laughs> like hitting me. God, what the fuck? Who designed this? <laughs> Dude, I can quote so many parts of UHF. Like, I love the part. Do you guys remember the part where he hands his friend the crowbar, and he's like, "Why don't you take this and just bash my head in, will ya?" Yeah. I love that Masterpiece. Part. It is or so the part funny. Where, like, what? What the fuck happens? Like, um, oh, the part where he gives Bobo the clown dog treats instead of food. That was hilarious. You know, I love, love the part where that guy is on the <laughs> the fish game show, and he goes. Yeah. You get nothing! Absolutely nothing! You're so stupid! I wish I could be on a fist game, so... Hey, that would be your fucking dream, I know that. Lumpia is so delicious. What the fuck is Lumpia? Do you mean Oompa it's like, Lumpias? It's, so imagine, you know, like egg rolls, right? But replace all the ingredients with tastier ingredients, make them smaller, fry them up real crispy-like, and then dip them in this, like... Fucking sour sauce. It's so fucking good. It's delicious. I love lumpia, and it has. Like, I don't like egg rolls. Maybe it's, pork it's and like chicken and scallions in it. That's so good. Yeah. See, I <gasps> told you I wasn't crazy. I told plant. you there was a giant plant monster. It looks well, nothing like I remembered, huge. but still, giant plant monster. That's a pretty neat design. It's just a big it's jumpy. real Final Fantasy. It's one of those pumpkin goobers. What? Ow! Stop! Plant tentacles. Is that really worthy of a cutscene? I guess so. Ah, that's no. Uh. Okay, I can't strafe and hold the seal. It's one or the other. I can't even see what you're getting hit by. It's these little green, like, plant tentacles. It's annoying. But if you strike the tentacles down, it causes one of the plants to fall, and you get a cutscene, and then he slams into the ground. Can I spin, please? You're halfway there. I like how the, you like, three-hit combo is too slow. Yeah, like, you block with the sealed, you get hit, you can do two of your two-hit combo, but not the full three-hit combo. Otherwise, you get, like, knocked back. And it's making this, like, goofy, like, water swimming noise. Where is it? Yeah, those are fucking loud sloshing sounds. <laughs> it definitely sounds like you're in a swamp. It's like that one scene in Star Wars where they're in the trash compactor. Oh good god. It's just sloshing, sloshing around. You know, I was talking about Star Wars earlier today, and I fucking hate Star Wars. But I do want to bring up that Ewoks is really good, and so is, like, uh, the one prequel movie with the big fist and the alien, like, bug arena. There's always a bigger fish. Yeah. Also, the one that introduced the least liked character in all of Star Wars. Zam Wessel. Besides the sequels. Oh. Jar Jar Binks. Oh. Okay, that was like kind of a non fight. That was easier than a lot of the generic enemies that just kind of pop out of nowhere. That's my, my least favorite thing good. when boss fights are just like just a fucking waste of time. It's for the story! The now, story! Incredible story. 
because we killed the big plant, we, like, have proven that we're responsible enough to become a knight so we can get our parents' permission to get, like, a knight's license or whatever. We'll become a squire. This little glowy spot, oh. it keeps throwing me off. What the fuck is this? Probably supposed to be some particles, but they all got put to the center of the map. I don't know, but I like that the Maybe boss music is bug. still playing. You just made it run away. You didn't kill it. No, it fell over. Its tongue was sticking out of its mouth. It had X's for eyes. I'm pretty sure oh. it's dead. Can How I... foolish of me. Of course it's dead. That is it's the a medical diagnosis. Thing. Yeah. X's for eyes? It's a red neg. Surely he's deceased. Tell me that those are not called negs. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's what spawned the joke. Uh. Please. Yeah, there's a reason we can't even say eggs. <laughs> there I had are... scrambled eggs for breakfast this morning, actually. Uh, even though it looks more like, I don't know, an apricot. No, because it really it's has, it yeah, back. no resemblance to an egg at all. No, it's a natural egg. It's a plant egg. It's an egg that grows on the earth, so it's an egg. You can just call it chicken an eggs egg. are natural too. <laughs> there's nothing synthetic about chicken eggs. <laughs> They're chicken made. This is an egg of the earth. Gross. Could have just had them be eggplants. Eggplant. I do like eggplants. I mean, they are eggplants, but they're called eggs, and we just have to live with it. I don't know. I'm voting <laughs> not, against not this. Not in 2023. Biden, what the fuck are you doing about eggs? God. Do you want to buy an NFT so we can play like the uh, Neopets reboot? Yeah, no. Goodbye, curl back world. You did your best, Taco Man. Hey guys, it turns out I had a couple of lives left, so who wants ice cream? Yeah! <laughs>